So how to do well in school. Um, it's kind of odd to me that you go out for sports and if you go out for sports they will train you how to do different sports and the way they train you is different depending upon the sport you're doing. So if you're going to go out for water polo you're going to train really differently than if you go out for football versus if you go out for like cross country uh, because the way you train impacts uh, you know what the outcome is and it's interesting to me that in sports they've developed and refined all of these ways for training for different events different sports but uh, in academia they just kind of give you uh, you know in school they just kind of give you the material and say learn this and they don't really teach you how to learn it so I'm going to share a few things with you about how to learn well or how to train the brain, how to train the brain. And uh, again, for me, these are the foundations of the course. And so, uh, you know, the first one, just kind of being thankful for the opportunity that you have so that you can realize just how fortunate you are to actually be able to learn. And then the next, next couple of little things I'm going to show you are just ways in which you can learn more effectively. And, uh, and so one of the things you really want to do to train your brain well is you want to focus. You want to be able to focus. And focusing is highly important. So I'm sure you've had moments in your life where you have not been focused, where you've been fragmented, and you've, you've experienced like how that can be frustrating and how nothing gets done. Like if you've got too many things to do, nothing gets done. Like I got to do this, I got to do, and then it's just like overwhelmed. I can't do any of it. And so uh, you are ultimately your best. You are ultimately the expert of you. And so you kind of have to figure out what really works well for you. But, you know, I'm going to speak a little bit about generalities of what generally works well for most people. And then I'm going to show you a little technique to help you to learn how to focus. Uh, because focus is the kind of thing where if you can focus, you know, focusing is like, you know, if you could focus light, you could take light and you could burn it through steel. And that's a laser. It's just focused light. And it's kind of the same thing in life. If you could focus on something, if like, okay, this is the thing I want to do with my life. And if you could focus on that and have great intensity and like, this is what I'm doing, then you're going to be able to do that one thing really well. And so, uh, when they study, one of the things of technology is we kind of have this misperception in society that, you know, multitaskers are really smart. I could text, I could drive, I could listen to the radio, I could do, you know, well, if you're a woman, <laughs> do your makeup, I could eat, right? I could do all these different things. Or I could, I could, you know, work on my paper and I could Facebook and I could listen to music. But, you know, what the studies show is that people who are multitaskers actually do each of those tasks less effectively. So if you were to do like task A and task B at the same time, you're going to do them less effectively and it's going to take you more time than if you're just to do task A by itself. And then when you're finished with that, come over and do task B. And so what that speaks to is you really want to do one thing at a time. Multitasking is a misperception and uh, it leads you to be less productive and it leads you to have less effective outcomes. You'll be less successful if you try to do many things or even two things at once versus if you're just doing one thing at one time. So that gets down to focus, one thing at one time. And again, this is the general generality. Some people are just staunch, you know, like I absolutely need music on or I need the TV on when I study. And you are ultimately the expert on you. So if that's the camp you fall into, then go for it. But what the studies show is that the more you can focus, the better you're going to do. And focusing is really kind of like, this is a tried and true, tried and true technique that's been used by like the LA Lakers, by people in sports, you know, like being able just to focus in on that one thing uh, is real important. And so that, that applies to small things in your life. Like, okay, just day to day, I'm just going to do my studies for my four different, six different classes or whatever. I'll do an hour on each class or however it works out for you. And it also applies to the bigger overall life plan. So uh, in school, you kind of take a variety of subjects and you're sort of searching for, okay, which ones speak to me? 
but then you narrow it down, you narrow it down and you choose the one thing you're going to do. And if you choose one thing and you just do that one thing, you will become an amazing expert, an amazing expert. It just takes time, right? They've studied that also. Malcolm Gladwell wrote a book about it called Outliers. If you put in four hours a day for every day for 10 years, that will equate to about 10,000 hours and you will be a master, an expert at whatever it is, whether it's playing basketball or swimming or playing the guitar. So if you wanted to be an amazing guitar player, in 10 years, you could be Jimi Hendrix. Just play four hours a day. That's it. <laughs> four hours a day. And then you will undeniably be able to make a living, earn a living by playing the guitar, either by giving lessons or teaching or being a touring guitar player, whatever it is. So that all comes from focus, being able to focus on something. So the main takeaways from uh, focusing, how do you focus, is to only do one thing at a time, just one thing at a time. You got mu music going, turn it off. You got Facebook going, turn it off. Even turn off your cell phone, right? Just do that one thing, that one thing, and only that one thing. So you really want to focus on whatever it is you're doing. And just set aside a block of time and focus, right? And focus for like, 15 minutes and then take a five minute break and then focus for 15 minutes and then take a five minute break. It's kind of like working out in the gym. You don't just keep doing barbell, you know, bench presses or whatever. Uh, you do a couple, you take a rest. You do a couple, you take a rest. And the same way with studying. So 15 minutes, I'm studying, five minute break. I'll do some push ups or go get a drink of water. 15 minutes, I study again and then I go take another break. And I study another 15 minutes and then I go take another break. And that's really kind of how the process works. So the main takeaway from this is to only do one thing at a time, to really focus on whatever it is you're doing. Just do that one thing and turn off Facebook, turn off the radio, whatever, when you're doing your studies and just focus on whatever it is you're doing. And you can also train your brain to focus. Uh, you know, you could train your brain to focus more. It's a skill. So like anything, like playing basketball, you start out at first, you can barely even dribble. The ball's going all over, it's hitting your feet. Uh, you can't you can't get it into the basket. It's bouncing off the rim. It's hitting the backboard. It's not even getting near the rim, right? But the more you do it, the better you get at it. And that's the same way with your brain. The more you train your brain to focus, the better you're going to get at it. And uh, there's a technique for training your brain to focus. And uh, some people call this meditation. And it's not it's not a it's not a religious thing. Um, a lot of different religions use it because there are a ton of benefits to training your brain to focus more. And so a lot of different religions use it, but it doesn't mean that, you know, it's only associated with one religion or it's a religious or it's a spiritual thing. There's a lot of research that shows that people who train their brain in this way, you know, train their brain to focus or they do these meditation techniques, it enhances their overall mental activity and their overall health in a lot of different ways. So I'm going to teach you a technique here. It takes five minutes. So every day, like before you sit down for your studies or something, you should just take this five minutes and practice focusing. Or you, you could try it, play with it, see how it works for you. I've been doing this for a while, and I've noticed you know, a lot of good, good changes in my ability to just sort of learn things and learn them more quickly. And who wouldn't want to learn it? learn things more quickly. All right, so the way this med uh, this meditation, this technique works is uh, you're just gonna shut your eyes. You wanna be somewhere where it's quiet so you don't have a lot of distractions and that's why you shut your eyes so you don't have the visual distractions. So I'm actually gonna do this here and you can join me. And uh, you shut your eyes, you're somewhere quiet so you don't have a lot of you know sounds distracting you. And what you're going to do is you're going to focus, you're just going to practice trying to keep your mind on one thing. You're going to try to keep your mind on one thing. And the mind's going to wander. You're going to go off into thoughts. You're going to start thinking about whatever, Friday night, about your car, about your roommates, about bills. And then you're, oh, I'm, I'm thinking about our stuff. And you're going to bring your focus, your awareness back to this one thing. And you're going to do that with me for five minutes got my little clock so I'll watch it here and uh, if you do this every day for five minutes over time your brain your mind will become skilled just like with basketball if you practice it enough you become skilled at basketball if you practice this technique enough you will become skilled at being able to take your mind like a laser and focus it down on one thing for a period of time 
and then like boom you're there you're with that one thing you're completely focused right and so that that helps you learn better you'll learn things more quickly and you'll learn them uh, more thoroughly all right so let's practice focusing our, our minds and uh, the way you do that is you're going to bring your awareness to you're going to breathe through your nose and you're going to bring your awareness to do you feel the breath going into your nose do you feel the breath coming out of your nose and that's the only thing you're going to watch you're going to focus in you're going to focus your awareness in on the sensation the feeling of breath coming into your nose and breath coming out of your nose and uh, that's training the brain it, it seems like why would I want to pay attention to that but what you're doing you know like who cares breath's going in and out of my nose but what you're doing is not so much this that is really the important part what you're doing is you're training your mind to stay on one thing to stay on one thing and you're going to notice that your mind doesn't like to do that <laughs> that it's going to go other places and you're going to bring that awareness back to the sensation and if you're having a hard time staying with the sensation breathe a little bit harder breathe a little bit harder so then you'd be more likely to be able to feel it so really try to feel the air passing around the outside of your nostrils feel it passing within the nostrils so the left nostril the right nostril does it go through one more easily than the other does it come out you know, is it cool when it goes in? Is it warm when it comes out? So you're really trying to pay attention to the sensation of air passing in and out of your nose. So just the inside of your nostrils, right here on the edges, even on the upper lip, if you feel that. So uh, it's 10.23 a.m. when I'm making this. When this reaches uh, 10.29, we will stop. So feel free to join me for the next five minutes practicing, focusing your mind, learning to stay on one object at a time. And, uh, you know, this is going to help you overall, because once you learn how to train your brain, once you train your brain to be focused, you're going to be able to focus on things and learn and learn, learn stuff more effectively. You're going to be more effective. Study, sh prove it, just to show it. All right. So uh, go ahead and close your eyes. And for five minutes, we're just going to pay attention. We're actually going to pay attention to, we're actually going to close our eyes for five minutes and pay attention to the way uh, breath feels coming in and out of our nose. So notice if your mind wanders, if you're thinking about stuff, and just bring it right back to the raw sensation of how does this feel? What is the feeling? Not what are the thoughts about the feeling, but what is the feeling? How does this feel? The actual physical sensation of air passing into your nose and air passing out of your nose. The actual physical sensation. the actual physical sensation.
Okay, so that's time. It's a very simple technique, but for many people, it's quite difficult to do. You probably noticed your mind wandering. Maybe now, too, you notice a little bit of a different quality in your mind and your body. So I encourage you to practice that every day. When you sit down to study, uh, take that first five minutes just to sort of calm yourself and to train your brain to focus in, to focus in, to focus in on the actual physical sensation of breath passing in through your nose and out of your nose. What does that actually physically feel like? And to keep your awareness just on that one thing, that one thing. And uh, every time the mind, mind wanders, to come straight back to the actual physical sensation. And if you need to breathe a little bit harder, to feel it at first, then uh, take those deeper breaths. But as your mind becomes more skilled at being focused, you can let your breathing just naturally, uh, you know, occur as it occurs, uh, and uh, and your your awareness will be able to focus in more and more and more. So that ability to focus is going to help you a lot in life, and it's uh, one of the keys to success, not only in school but also in life, to be able to focus in on something. And when you study, you absolutely want to focus. You want to have just one thing that you're doing, just one thing. That's it. You don't want a lot of distractions going on around you. And uh, that's going to help you be a more effective student. All right, so that's one of the keys to success. Not only have I experienced it in my life, but there's a lot of research that shows that, uh, you know, doing one thing at a time, monotasking, not multitasking, but monotasking, doing one thing at a time is much more effective than trying to do uh, a couple of things at a time. All right, so uh, I will see you in the next video.